Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today we are talking about fixtures. In testing, a fixture provides a defined, reliable, and consistent context for the tests. This could include environment, like database, API, and or content, like data. Fixtures are used as preconditions and postconditions for our tests. Fixtures can have different scopes. Function scope, the default one, executed every time for every single test. Class scope, executed once for every test class. Module and package scope, executed once per Python module and package. And finally, session scope, executed once per test run. Let's check out how to use fixtures in the code. In our test file, let's import the fixture keyword from the PyTest and create a function decorated with the fixture. Let our function just return some piece of data. By default, any fixture's scope is a function. It will be executed before each test with it. Now we can use the fixture name as an argument in our test. Moreover, let's create another fixture utilizing the first one and one more test with the new fixture. And mind you may use as many fixtures in the test as you need it. If you still do not get it, why do you need to use fixtures rather than just declare needed data? That's because you don't have to keep all this code on the same file. For fixtures you plan to use for many tests, you may move to a separate file, conftest.py. See, no imports, but tests are passed, no unnecessary imports. PyTest will manage all dependencies for you. But what about post conditions? What if I want to do something regardless of test execution status? There is a pretty simple option just to replace the return statement in the fixture with the yield statement. In this example, I am creating a fixture to create a text file before the test and delete the file after the test. The test itself will write some data into the file. Keep in mind that if you need the post conditions only, you may write yield as the first statement in the function. PyTest provides a list of default fixtures you can use in your tests. I will add the link to it to the description. For instance, we can get a test file name. And finally, the PyTest Playwright Library introduces Playwright fixtures we can use at once. Like the page. Do not worry about how to start the web browser, just call the page, navigate somewhere, and check the page title. Voila! In the next episode, we will finally talk about the Playwright. It's about time in the Playwright Test Automation course. Hit the subscribe button to not miss it.
Also, your likes and comments are welcomed and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.